Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is I'm Sarah, and you are watching Queen of Hearts Vintage Treasures, some of my videos. And today, I'm going to talk to you about making the most of shipping, especially for textiles, um, pillowcases, sheets, that kind of thing. Not quilts, they won't fit in this, but how to get the most <clears throat> out of your shipping and the rate for your buyers. As we all know, shipping has gone up tremendously over the past few years, especially. So when you are shipping, like let's say you have a customer that buys several pillowcases or a sheet set or whatever, you wanna absolutely get that to them the most economical way possible, okay? Nine times out of 10, that is gonna be your priority padded, not a regular envelope, do not ship in a regular cardboard envelope, it will tear up. Also, you don't wanna ship it in just a priority envelope, not because it's gonna tear up, but because the postage is gonna be more, okay? So here's your padded flat rate, okay? All right, it's got a bubble mailer, it's whatever it is that um, it's not gonna tear up. Um, <clears throat> it's a poly, I guess, outside. So super strong, not gonna give you issues. You can cram things in there, but the thing is a lot of people don't know how to do that to make the most. So I'll give you an example. I bought a bunch of pillowcases that I'm gonna resell from a fellow seller. I haven't bought much from her. I saw some things she was doing. So she sent me the invoice and the shipping was like $13.50. And I'm going, that's like four sets of pillowcases, so like eight cases maybe. And I thought, that'll fit, that'll easily fit in this and cut my shipping down by like four or five bucks. So I messaged her back and I was like, hey, can you see if you can use a padded flat rate envelope, you know, because it's really going to drop the shipping especially sellers when you're looking at like buying things online to resell. I mean, another four or five bucks, that raises your cost per set. You got to mark it up that much more. And I'm really try for me, I really try to get the best price for quality. I mean, I don't, <clears throat> I do do a few cutters and that kind of thing, but I really try to clean things up and have nice things and get them at a price that I can offer a reasonable price to my customers. That's just kind of my thing. So, I also don't want to get hustled for shipping. I mean, who does, right? I don't hustle my customers for shipping. I don't want to be hustled for shipping, right? Because it's a lot. So anyway, I got a message back and she's like, I tried, they wouldn't go, whatever. And I'm like, oh. and, and watching what this gal sells, she just doesn't do a lot of textiles and that's totally fine. It's not a race thing. So some people just don't know how to, the tricks to get as much crammed into here. Because I'm telling you, a king sheet set will fit in one of these. Now, barely, and it takes some It takes some work, but you can do it. Um, I have, I, I'm gonna pick on her in this video, but I have a good, Laurie is a good um, selling friend of mine. Um, and she is all the queen of getting things to fit in one of these. So um, I'll just do a plug if you're in happy vintage or if you are ever actually in my group for queen of hearts vintage treasures we're on facebook i have a facebook group so join the group i have my friend laurie join me all the time she's got great stuff great linens also side plug for her and she can get you all sorts of things crammed into this as well so i'm going to show you what to do so i got my box so this is the box that it came in okay here's my box it's probably, look at it, it's like a 10 by 7 by 5 box, right? So the ship, it was like 3 pounds. The good thing is with this, I don't know what the max is, but it's a lot of weight. You can put 3 pounds in here. It's no problem. So I opened that, and then she had it. This was good. She had it in another envelope, kind of protect them. So that's really good. So I'm going to take these out. So this is, this is my stack of pillowcases, which will be for sale once I get them cleaned up. So here are my pillowcases. So well, here's what you're going to do. Okay, let's stand up because it does, I mean, it takes a little, takes a little work, guys. So what you're going to do is you want to fold them as flat as possible, but see, they can be folded flat and a little bit longer because you've got the length and that'll help you out. You've got the length. So they're kind of folded about the length of this envelope. Okay. So you're going to get, order you, and I, I'll put the link. The link is in my group and it's on my Facebook page. These are just poly bags. I order them by sets of hundreds 
They're great. It's gonna protect your linens. It's gonna protect um, all of your things. And so, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bag and we're gonna put, you're gonna put your pillowcases in here, okay? So here they are, they're in the bag. So then what I'm gonna do, and you can get Ziploc bags, you can do it with a lot of things. I've seen people do a garbage bag. It's just the cheapest to get these like poly bags that are super thin and easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna smush. It's kind of like, um, if y'all ever remember seeing those, um, what are they, the vacuum gear bags? That's pretty much what you're doing. So I kind of twist it and then I smush it. And here's what I got. Okay, so then I twist it up. I tie a knot in it. And you see how much thinner these guys are now? Look at here. This will absolutely go in that. I'm gonna show you what happened. So I've got it all kind of snugged up. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna start putting it in here. And it's gonna go in here. And you have to work with it. So sometimes you have to push it this way, I guess, width ways to kind of get it to slide down. And it's in. There is Actually, there's room to spare. I could probably get another two to four cases stuffed in here. Here's another trick. Okay, sometimes what you'll do is you'll get your like sheet sets. You'll get your sheet sets in here and it's in. And, and what you have to do sometimes is work with the bag to kind of slide it up. It's a little bit of a, of a trick and it is a hassle, but it will save your, your buyers a lot of money. And it's so it's worth it to do. So sometimes what happens is when you get them in here, they're still bulging out. And you have to have room. You see this, my little uh, sticky tear thing? You're gonna pull this off and flip it over to like um, secure it, okay? It's got a sticky strip here. It'll be bulging out. In that case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set it up here. You're gonna push it down like this and you're gonna tear a hole. You see my little bag? You're gonna tear the hole in this bag. And you're like, you just air sucked it. Why did you tear the hole? Here's why. I air compressed it to get it in here. Now I've got to compress it even more. But if it's, cause you can't possibly suck every bit of air out of it before you stuff it in, unless you use a vacuum cleaner, which ain't nobody got time for that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tear a little hole and then you're gonna do the same thing, okay? Once it's in the bag, you're gonna do the same thing. I, I like smush it down, okay? And what you'll see is when you smush it down, you see that, I don't know if you can see, the air will pop up. You see that big thing of air? There's more air in it. So I'm gonna just push that down and because I tore a hole, it'll push the rest of the air out. So now I can actually get it in about half of this bag. So if I wanted to do it down, so do you see? So now it stops about here where it was pretty much up to the top. So all that to say is that's kind of the second trick. If it's still really big and it's in, then you pop a hole in your interior bag you can press it and push it down and work that air out. Most of the time then you can get it to push down enough that you can close your bag, tear your thing and seal it. I always then secure it with just an additional piece of um, packing tape just to make sure that nothing, you know, pops loose because it's pretty, a lot of times these are pretty packed. I mean, they are just stretched to the max. Good thing is this does have a little bit of stretch to it. So sometimes you can stretch it, tape it down, it's fine. So that's kind of your trick, but yes, absolutely. This would have fit in the bag, but the seller didn't know or didn't want to fool with it. And, some, and, and that's their prerogative. But I probably, for me, I probably won't buy linens from that seller again. And that's what happens is if you buy a lot of textiles and a lot of linens and you have a seller that is not willing to, or, um, and I'm speaking to sellers right now, if you are not willing to work um, and really put a little bit of effort in and learn the tricks to get these things in a padded flat right, if at all possible. Some things just won't go, y'all. Quilts won't go. If you have somebody that buys eight tablecloths, that's not gonna go. It's too much material. But a sheet set, most of the time, some kings, it's almost impossible. Kings and queen full sets with the fitted and the flat and the cases, that's really hard. And not all the time will they go, but most of the time you can get it. Definitely a full set, definitely a twin set, definitely a stack of cases, definitely several tablecloths. De you know, there's a lot you can get in here. So that is the trick to getting this in here. 
and saving your customers some money, okay? So that is also a, a, a service that you, as a seller, give to your buyer so that they come back. Um, because they go, hey, if my, I laugh, my, I have some customers that go, hey, I know, if you can't get it in, it ain't going. And I'm going, and, and I'll tell them, I really tried. I really tried to get it in there. And sometimes it's so packed in here, but I could not get it closed. <laughs> I just put this in the box because I'm going, I'm not going to try to get it back out. They'll have to tear it out. So anyway, that's how you do it, sellers. Use the tricks. Save your buyers on shipping as much as possible. And they will be happy, and you'll be happy, and they'll come back. Okay, thanks. Bye, y'all.